Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Now, this is on my new computer, so I sound a bit different. That is why. Um, usually I will be using this for BeamNG, as you can see right here. But I have some extremely exciting news because I mean I'm still I'm still very excited about BeamNG. I only got this computer two weeks ago. Or last week, but at the beginning of it, so about almost two weeks ago, coming up on that, one and a half weeks. Um, so I'm still excited to be able to play BMG Drive in good quality, but now there's another thing going on, right? It matches my content to this channel very, very well. <laughs> Obviously, I've talked about it a billion different times, but let's go into here and see events near you. You see Glendale, and you see February 12th, and if you look just down here, I don't know if OBS picks this up actually, but it's February 9th, so you know what that means. Yes, I'm going. I, I, again, I've talked about it many, many times. I wouldn't be making this video if I wasn't going. Be like, ooh, there's an event like 15 minutes away from my house, and I'm not going to it. Like, yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know why I would do that, but this tour has, I've seen some super impressive things going on uh preston perez and jim kohler getting those moonwalks in, and craig champion actually working on it a bit as well craig champion and preston perez definitely picking up their air a bit this year and jim kohler constantly going for that mini flip because i think i've only seen jim kohler in 2017 maybe 2018 so seeing him where he could do all these crazy things right now that's where the excitement is going to come into play for team scream i really am excited to see that but he's not even the top performer of team scream so we'll get to that in a second and then we have camden murphy i saw him back in october and he was again sorry if i sound sick i'm not um what it's seven in the morning and i just woke up 15 minutes ago uh so Cameron murphy october he went absolutely insane he almost broke his phone trying to get a picture of me that video is up on my channel if you want to see it um yeah, I'm very excited to see him back. He's uh, He was one of the highlights of the last show, and I'm, I'm sure he will be one of the highlights for this show. He's been narrowing it out this year as well, and did a run on two flat tires. So I'm really excited to see what he could do this year. Moving into page two, no disappointment at all. Paul Jensen probably is the, well, he has uh, the lowest performer on this, but he has had a couple good runs this year, and he has gone for the backflip. Uh, same thing with Mike Christensen, who actually will revisit this page. We'll talk about uh, the independence to round him up. Paul Jensen, uh, he's been doing pretty average for how he usually runs, but is going slightly harder than Glendale October. We got Mike Christensen, who uh, still has been keeping it pretty toned down, but did get one crazy crash and did attempt one backflip like in May in Glendale, so... I'm excited to see what he will be able to do this year. And to round out the independents, we have the by far best performing independent this year. Corey Rummel in Megalodon has taken, I'm sure, the whole community by surprise. I mean, he was a 2019 award winner. Uh, what else? His 2020 season was pretty good, but oh my god, is he wild this year. He's made it to the finals in racing five or six times, from what I heard. Uh, I don't usually watch racing, but I watch Tire Talk, and they, I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Uh, we also, uh, yeah, he's done, he's done backflips very consistently as well, um, which is obviously going to be exciting. And that's going to round out the independents. Very excited to see Corey Rumble and Jim Kohler particularly, but I'm also sure... Or, not short. Sure. I'm also excited to see what the three newer drivers can do. Not really new. Well, Preston Press is the newest. Paul Jensen and Mike Curtis have actually been driving since 2016, haven't they? They're still, yeah. I'll just move on from there. Uh, we got Kayla Blood. Now, she has been doing pretty decently. Um, I would say she's doing a bit better than, uh, where were they last year? Uh, was it New Orleans? I, I think she was in New Orleans and she's definitely well she was in Foxborough as well and I think 
I don't remember, but yeah, she's definitely picked it up compared to last year and has done a successful backflip, uh, maybe multiple, I'm not sure, once again, but I'm very excited to see what she would do. And Bari moves sour this season. Oh my goodness, is he wild. Uh, we've seen him going crazy. He's landed several backflips, got him on the sidewalls a couple times, not really saved it, but he has done it, so he has won one or two freestyle events, especially, uh, Looking back at San Diego when he jumped over the Rooks truck, so we'll move on to Tyler Mendiga in a second. Uh, Bari Musauer, though, getting air, landing backflips, that's a big one. Still keeping it to the slap wheelies, but I can't really complain. Uh, I actually, my favorite skills move, and I know this is very debatable, it's the bicycle. I don't really find the moonwalks that exciting unless there's some kind of combo or something like that, you know? I really like to see something new, but slap wheelies, they're, they're kind of hard to see now, so I'll take it from Bari, uh, yeah. And now let's move into the last three, who none of which are independent. We have Charlie Pockin, and my, has he been wild, uh, just one freestyle in... Houston, uh, February 5th, with a consecutive backflip, and wild, wild air, uh, Charlie Pockin, uh, even after being gone for two years, and at his age, he is still driving the truck hard, not driving Grave Digger this year, he is driving Monster Mutt, but, my, is he going crazy, to just to have three digger drivers on one tour ryan anderson charlie pocket and tyler menninga that's crazy enough but charlie pocket uh, and tyler menninga have definitely picked it up a lot this year uh charlie pocket what else has he done lots of racing finals i believe he has won racing before again not 100 percent sure uh he has some crazy skills attempts like he did a moonwalk to backflip in skills just like Tom Mentz did, but we're not focusing on tour, right? Uh, backflip off of a moonwalk in skills, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, he has gone for backflips. Uh, I, I said he did eat that consecutive, but I know he has landed some other ones. And yeah, his skills, uh, he's actually been doing some pretty decent bicycles. And as Ryan Anderson said, he's been practicing them for years. And Charlie Pocket comes out and does his first one in Oakland. And he just absolutely smashes it. So, uh, yeah, he's on a roll this year. And then rounding out this row of four drivers, we have the Rook, Tyler Meninga. Uh, he actually has not been doing as well as he had uh, in the beginning of the season. Just truck problems on top of truck problems. He had to end early in Houston because he broke a sway bar broke tire rods, he was basically gone for all of Anaheim again, broken tire rods, broken rear steer in San Diego, just having a really bad season, and it's really unfortunate, because at the beginning, you know, he had these back-to-back -back crazy sidewalls, he still goes for big air, he just doesn't get full freestyles, like, Oakland was wild with him. He almost went over on skills, got a crazy save, or sorry, not skills, uh, intros he got a save. He was getting pretty good in racing, you know, he was winning skills over and over with crazy moonwalks and crazy bicycles. And, uh, yeah, and he also got that backflip to reverse bicycle all in two shows, and then he comes out the next show, breaks the rear steer, but still goes pretty hard, and at Anaheim he's just gone, broken tire rods, broken rear steer, broken housings. Um, uh, may I mention Bari destroyed his, uh, <laughs> at San Diego, but, yeah, uh, unfortunately, he's just having, it's not him either, again, it's just truck problems after truck problems after truck problems for Tyler, and, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but, oh, hopefully, he will be able to get this back shortly, because he was your tour leader, and he was at the top of, uh, what's it called? Oh. He was at the top of the power rankings for a good couple of weeks, but ever since this all started, he's gotten down to like third in his tour, I think, maybe second behind Ryan, I'm not sure, uh, but he's just really been not doing as well uh, recently, so uh, as said, 
he will also probably make it to the world finals because of how great he's been performing. It's just unfortunate that I don't think he's going to be winning this season, which he, he's who I had my bets on uh, at, when he was hard leading at the beginning of the season, but now Ryan Anderson has definitely come back to take his place as the best current driver in Monster Jam. Well, that's what I've titled him as because he is. <laughs> and then... Your last wait, I could just cop. Oh, that would be nice to know for some previous videos. Uh, or for I can put that back here actually. Uh, we have Ryan Anderson, your tour leader. He has been having a really rough time in skills, I've been noticing. Failing a lot of the sidewalls and saves opportunities he got. Uh, he has been getting a couple back or uh, bicycles and wind walks. And he has gotten a couple sidewalls, but really, the skills challenges have kind of been handed to Tyler, um, unfortunately for Ryan. Uh, and he is still really pushing it, but um, he's just not getting the skills he needs. However, his freestyles, massive air, like, uncomparable to any other air we've seen. Constant backflips and multiple backflips to moonwalks already this season, uh, and pretty flawlessly as well. Um, what else we got for him? Just uh, basically everything good. He's been getting really good times in racing. I mean, it's, not, it's Ryan Anderson. What do you need me to say about him? He's Ryan Anderson. He's the best. Uh, basically wins in every category. I don't even need to go into detail with that. Uh, matter of track conditions, nothing. And this is the tour of these 12 drivers I will be seeing February 12th. Now, I just wanted to give a, a brief review of the tour because it also puts in my mind what uh, I should be looking out for when I go because uh, Craig Chapman also got attempted a front flip and even if he didn't land it, even if that setup's not going to be on my track, I do still know that he will be pushing himself to do crazier things and that's going to be really exciting to see. Uh, now, let's head over to results so we can look at the Houston results here and review these. So, Tyler Meniga and uh, Ryan both actually getting this, uh, but as you can see, Tyler Meniga was a really, really bad time in Saturday, really just getting it back on Sunday, uh, because he broke his sway bar, that's why I only went home with a 7.886 here, but did with freestyle here, which I was actually not aware of. Uh, we'll actually have to take a look at that, uh, uh, yep, he won the skills as said. Ryan Anderson is having kind of a rough time, but what the heck? Where is he? Oh, he's in second. Okay. Uh, and then let's see for the finals. We're seeing Tyler, Ryan, and uh, we see Charlie, and then as well as that, uh, Barney actually has been having a pretty good season in racing. I did forget to mention that uh, he's been having a pretty good season. And then Corey has said has made it to multiple finals, but it's yet to win, I believe. And Tyler Meninga, uh, and uh, I should say, Camden Murphy have both been doing pretty good. And unfortunately, I won't be seeing Rod Ryan. I will be seeing Axe, but I've never seen Axe. Per well, I've never seen either of them perform. But yeah, now it's like the point standing, so we can review over this. Uh, as you can see, uh. Tyler Meninga now 23 points behind the lead uh, because of these truck problems that are really becoming an issue for his season. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm so tired. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. He was really driving it hard. And he was your leader for a while, but lost it all because of some things that he can't even control. That was on my tour, but I do want to mention that Nick Pagliarulo has been going absolutely wild and did win a freestyle competition pretty recently, so that's pretty cool. But why is he like this? Oh, is it because of Nashville or wherever they went in that arena? Does that mean that he's not in the tour anymore? Oh, that's not good, actually. I want. Well, that might mean he can't make it to the world finals, but he's been driving it hard, landing back from some such. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, we've seen some pretty crazy changes here. Uh, I'm a bit surprised with these rankings, actually. I would love to pull up my other ones, but I don't feel like doing that right now. If they just chose the top six drivers from both of these tours, 
That would honestly be great, but you would be leaving out. Wait, Jim Kohler would be there, and Cynthia Gauthier would be there. They would not do that. <laughs> yeah, no way. Uh, now let's go to the power rankings. So for week five, this is this week. This is what we're looking at. For the power. Oh god, for the power rankings. Uh, yeah, not the uh. Well, that's week ending one, or one. Well, that's as far as we have. Now let's look at the power rankings for week one. Why are they like this? Where's the top? What the? Hello? Second half. Here we are. Yeah. Ryan was top. very low. Can I look at this? And Mark List was wild, but I do want to review Houston uh, to see what I need to see. Oh god. What did he win? I think he won. He said he won freestyle, did it not? Yeah. Let me review this. So, this is a video from Monster Jam's Finest. So, please go check him out. Um, this is not my own recording, as you said. But That's why I'm so enthusiastic about going you missing out. to Black Veil, as some Call people right. go to show like, weekly. I'm like, I would, but first of all, I don't, I can't travel in the country like that. Second of all, that's expensive. <laughs> so, air. I respect it for Tyler. great job of utilizing the pod so far as well uh, hitting the wheelie ramp or the ramp for sky wheelies to get massive air and I actually should mention so this is Houston but it's a stadium so it's like the same story now, I don't know the track layout for my show yet, apart from the fact it's going to be paper clip style, I don't really know, but so let's say this bump right here on the pod is the middle of the track. So, like, right here is the middle of the track, right? If you put it into perspective, this is the middle. I will be sitting probably in this area, which if you take it down, kind of right here in between these two ramps is where I will be sitting. Uh, basically, look at my recordings for October Glendale, and that's where I'll be, that we're sitting in the exact same seats this time, so... so I don't know where the backflip's going to be. I don't know if they're using the full track or not, but what I do know is I'm going to be sitting pretty close to the center once again to hopefully get some good angles of the big jumps. I'm not, I'm not seeing any screams. I don't know. I need to pick it up a bit. So we didn't do a backflip. Huh. Yeah, but... Holy crap! Dude! Okay, I know Ryan did this too, but this seat really shows the fact that they literally... I know there's some perspective stuff going on, but they would at least be up to... Or, Tyler, at least up to right here in the seat, at least. And honestly, I've never seen a truck go higher than the lights like that before uh, in a regular stadium show. That's wild. Holy crap. I think he was- oh, there's Jim Kohler and Kirk Jammin. I think he was the first driver to do that though, so I guess it was just the fact that Ryan followed it up uh, better, but 
didn't have that first run high score. Did you see the official? Look at him. Like, yeah. Did he say no? Is he like, no, don't do it? He's like, bad, Tyler. How dare you? Alright, that's pretty cool. But winner over Ryan, I just don't really see it. So that's what I'm gonna end this video. But please go and check out my main channel because, you know, I have been on a bit of a growth spurt recently. Um, and I am trying to hit a thousand. Uh, it, when December started, I was at 300. Now I'm at 650. So I have been on quite the wild run recently. So please do check out my main channel. Um, as well as that, I, uh, I do have some other channels like here and whatnot uh, that I don't have on my other channel. So please check them out as well. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I am super pumped to see Monster Jam in only three days. And actually, I did bring it up right. <laughs> I did bring it up right here. Uh, yeah, three days to Monster Jam. Three days total.